Hey gamers, Ryan here with Seaside Survival. Welcome back to another exciting episode here on the Seaside. Last time we built the Mossy Cobble. You can see that up here. And ooh, look at that. Isn't that a nice build? I moved the hitching post. Let's put our horse in front of the building. Very exciting stuff. This has our moss generator inside of it. See, we used to have a giant barn here with a moss generator and a flower generator inside, but the barn was too big and the machines didn't work. So I fixed the moss generator, built a better building around it, if I do say so myself. And now we need to rebuild our flower generator. Now the big question is where to put it. I think this is going to be a good spot. It's going to kind of have a rounded front like this. Maybe a balcony, we'll see. Um, and it's going to have a basement. The machine is going to take up some space down here. And then we'll build a second floor with um, some additional flower machines. It's almost time for some redstone, but let me show you my block palette first. We'll build on a foundation of the moss to stone combination, like we did over here at the Mossy Cobble. Um, the buildings are going to be really close, so I think using a similar block palette is going to be helpful. The barn that we're replacing with this new build and that new build used to have a lot of glass windows, kind of like a stained glass window on the front of it. I'm going to bring some of those colors into this build as well. I'm going to be incorporating four different wood types into this build too. We have your standard oak planks, your dark oak stripped, spruce stripped, and this one. Okay, gamers, I did a lot of redstone and off camera, and I was just down in the skeleton spawner repairing some of my tools. Let's go see what we did with the redstone. Ow. Hello, trader. Where are your llamas? Nothing good today, huh? Well, see you later. Uh, okay, so here we go. This is the redstone. I had to widen this area a bit just to fit everything in um, and give myself a little bit more room to work. So uh, we're going to alter the shape of this building. I thought maybe it would be a little bit too skinny with uh, just from pillar to pillar. So um, we're going to add on a little back part here. I'm not sure if the whole side's going to extend out or maybe just this part or maybe I'll cover it up with some ground. I don't know. We'll get there. Uh, but this is the machine. So I have a mechanism set up so that these pistons will extend out and push the grass this way. And then these pistons will extend out and push the grass this way. And that is going to constantly be breaking whatever is growing here on the grass. There's a minecart underneath that picks up the items. Watch, yep, the seeds disappear. Um, and this is a dispenser full of bone meal. And so is this, and a flower. When uh, the machine turns on, these uh, dispensers shoot out bone meal, grow the grass and flowers and whatnot here. And then the pistons will extend out and push the grass, breaking whatever grew on it and then underneath the minecart will pick it up. So I've made a little on off switch here and by flipping this lever, this piston is going to push this observer down. This observer is going to observe this observer. Whoa, so observational. And then it's going to move this piston in and out. In doing so, it's going to trigger the redstone on this side, which triggers these pistons. And then when it retracts, it'll power the uh, uh, what are the, the pistons on this side and extend back out this way. I'll just show you. Here we go. Let's turn it on, huh? So there's our on off switch. And you can see the pistons pushing the dirt back and forth as the bone meal is dispensed. Wow, it's loud in here. And there's all our beautiful flowers and grass growing up on this grass and breaking apart, getting picked up by the minecart for us to collect later. Yikes, let's turn this thing off. Okay, I got a pretty simple design here for a minecart unloader. So let's take a look at how it works and then we gotta figure out how we're gonna work it into the system here. I also added more power rails in here so that the cart goes faster. 
Okay, so the uh, this is how this works. We put stuff in there. Wait, come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Put no, nope, come back. Put stuff in there, right? And get it up on top of this activator rail and that's going to trigger this comparator which is going to turn off this redstone torch which turns out that redstone powder and locks this power rail so when the cart goes up here it is going to lock the powered rail until everything is removed from the cart and put into this chest and then once the cart itself is empty it's going to uh, turn the torch back on whoops nope hold on yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so when the cart's empty, the torch is going to turn back on, trigger this redstone, which powers this rail, and then sends the cart back on its path. Okay, so I think I'm going to put it up here, and the floor is going to go somewhere around this block or this block, so this should work out just fine. Okay, so now we need to just make sure we can bring our track in here and then back down here. Let's see. Come on, jump the rail. Yes. Okay, then on the return trip, it does what I want. Okay, cool. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, let's put it to the test. Oh, come on now. I'm sure this is going to work. Don't worry, guys. Redstone professional here. All right, unload your business. So let's do a test with everything going turn on the machine here and create some flowers and some grass seed and we'll watch it work yep just a few things to unload I know there are probably simpler ways to do this, but I kind of like the idea of big chunky redstone, just these crazy contraptions. Uh, Rube Goldberg machine of flower generation. Ah, oh, he's back with llamas this time, I see. Got anything good today? Nope, not really. See you later. Hey, spider, get away from socks. This is a dangerous shot. Oh, that's right, that's what I thought. Saved you, socks. Whoa, I woke up and it's mob central. Anybody else? I suppose I could always put in a chicken farm next door and feed them all these seeds. I don't know. Oh my guy, that's a bad place to stand. Okay, so the redstone is what powers the, hey. Okay gamers, I did a little, oh perfect, rain. Uh, I did a little off camera building here. And then, okay, I hear this zombie over here. It's bugging me. I keep hearing a zombie. Do you guys hear it? Further away. Oh. We got a zombie party over here. As I was saying, I did a little off-camera building over here. So we got some walls up. I decided to go with spruce, classic. We'll do something cool with the windows. And I put this box up around the machine so we shouldn't have any leakage. Um, I have installed some lights behind the machine. It gives it a nice glow. I think it'll look good. So let's finish the walls. Oh, and I put in a staircase. Look at that. Not bad, right? Let's finish up the walls and uh, see where we're at. Oh, a new dog. You want to be my dog? You don't. Okay. What if I try more bones? Will you like me then? 
No. How many bones does it take? Hey, there we go. Okay, gamers. Um, well, it's been a little while. In real life, I mean. It's been about two real life weeks since I was last recording here. And, um, well, I think sometimes inspiration hits. And sometimes it doesn't. Like, if we go over here and look at this moss farm. I knocked this thing out in a couple of days. I had an idea of how it was going to look. And it just kind of went that way. Um, and I'm super happy with that. With this one over here, the flower farm, um, I guess I'm having the Minecraft world equivalent of writer's block. Um, this is what I've got so far. You might have seen from the time lapse uh, that I continued to add things and then take things away and uh, felt kind of stuck. So why don't I show you what I got so far and we'll go from there. Um, this is, hey, there's a cow in here. Look at that. Um, this is uh, the side. We we pretty much just use this to refill the bone meal. Um, and then over here, we've got another door. This leads to a similar chest, bone meal. Power the farm on or off. Over here, we have something. Um, this is going to be a way up to the top of the build. But I also have a staircase here, so... Maybe this isn't super necessary. Ah, I don't know. There's a closet. Um, I built a closet in here, so that's something. This is the top of the build. Um, I wanted to have some individual farms in here too, like the vine grower or the sweetberry, um, or the glowberry rather, the glowberry generator. But going down here, it's a flower farm. It should be light and airy, and it looks very 2011 Minecraft, I think. I like it, but I don't really like it, I guess. This is just the basement, so no news there. So what do I do? Um, I'm a couple weeks into a build, and a lot of that time was spent not building. <laughs> I think it's smart now to take inventory of what's working and what's not working. We'll leave what is working and we'll build on that. But first we need to remove what's not working. So let's think about this. The front, I think, is starting to work. I don't like the roof line there, so I'll change that once I get to the roof. But um, I like how the facade of the building is now. Um... Oh, it's getting dark. We better sleep. Okay, and thank goodness the rain's letting up. Um, this is just a rough idea of where the path is going to be. So pay no attention to the, the grassy area here. That's going to change. But from here, when you're, when you're viewing the building from walking this way, it looks kind of how I wanted it to look. Part greenhouse, part Gringotts Bank. So I think the front is fine for now. Up here around the side is not working. Um, I put this in so that I could make the spiral staircase up, but I'm not convinced that the spiral staircase is necessary. So maybe we take this area out. With that, I suppose I don't need the stairs, so we can take that out too. 
I'm gonna leave the closet though. The closet's good. Well, not like that. There. I also think that having this here is doing a disservice to this area. It's all about growth here. It's about flowers. So let's make it a little less cavey and a little more greenhousey. I think. We'll start by taking this down. Next, this half length building thing up here. Um, well, I had good intentions, right? I wanted to cover up on top of this machine and I wanted to, oh man, I'm full. Uh, we don't need you and we don't need you. Okay. Well, that didn't, that wasn't very effective. There. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Right. I did the top floor um, as kind of a half a building because I don't want to forget about the natural elements of this world. So this this building and the machine within was meant to be kind of part of this hill and I had to clear the hill away to make the stuff and instead of filling the hill back I just kind of built a big building there <laughs> so let's bring the hill over to meet the top of this building and see how that works and how we should finish the top but one thing that I do know is that this room is too short look if we go down here it's awkward why does the building end right there when it continues down here that doesn't make sense I don't really have the direction yet but I'm hoping we find it along the way all right so this building here should be partially hill let's make it hill You see that this has now been converted into a hill. I think we could put an entrance right here, maybe a doorway, and I do think this wall should continue over here, which is a bit of a bummer since I built it that way once and tore it down. Um, and now let's rebuild it. Also, uh, I kind of hate to say this, but I'm not sure I love <laughs> the stone look that we have on the top floor okay and the wall comes down uh, again I'm going to use some stripped oak and some stripped birch and I think that's gonna look pretty good on the wall it's gonna give it a lighter feel for the top level and that makes more sense you wouldn't make a wooden foundation that's buried in a hill you'd make a stone foundation that's buried in a hill Okay, um, yeah, obviously this is pretty basic, but I think it makes a lot more sense already. I'm pretty happy with that. And just like that, we have a door into the side of the building. It's good. It's fine. I'm into it. Um, now, I have a plan for the side of the barn. If you remember the giant barn that we used to have here, stretching across this whole area... It had um, flower stained glass on it, and I thought that was kind of neat. Um, so in honor of that, we're going to do something similar. Hey, there's a bed here. Um, we're going to do something similar, uh, but instead of stained glass, we're going to use wood. Let's give it a try. Okay, if there's one thing that they got to address, it's storage space. This is nuts. I'm using like three different wood variants and there's so many variants of those variants. And then my inventory is full before I know it. I need those arrows back. And let's take a look. Right? Uh, it's cool, I like it. It's like abstract flowers kinda. Um, okay, so this one is kinda resembling a rose and um, this one over here. This one's a tulip, um, the um, the birch, stripped birch, is kind of like a, a yellow tulip. Um, this over here is a giant mushroom. I know we're not growing mushrooms in here. It's 
it's whimsical. Just get into it. Um, and then this is just a little flower. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's cool. It's like flower graffiti on the side of the building. I decided we're going to keep this part open and this part is going to remain roofed. I'll probably change out the floor here. Um, Lord knows I've changed out most of the blocks of this build so far. Um, let's add some more flowers on this side and then we'll work on something else. All right, that's a good improvement. We'll put some vines or something here. We'll age it up a little bit and add some more detail. But yeah, just, just look at that top layer there. That's cool. You can just make out what it is, but it's, I mean, it's only a few blocks. So it's a very pixelated representation of some flowers. But I think that looks really cool. Let's build the roof. Now I'm thinking that we're gonna make the roof kind of unlike any other roof that we've built so far, right? Um, we've got the villager, oh, okay. Perfect landing. Um, we got this uh, standard angled roof. Um, we kind of have this fairy tale cottage roof over here. Of course, um, Minecraft generates these amazing roofs over here. So let's go with something a little bit different here. I wanted to go with something a bit more industrial. Obviously, it doesn't need to be modern industrial. I don't want it to be modern industrial. It's not a modern setting over here. Um, but I do want to kind of give the roof um, more of a flat... Uh, modern look over on this building um, besides it's already a tall building it's gonna be huge if we put an angled roof on it so why don't I try some things and I'll show you what I've done well this is bad I was aiming for a creeper and uh, you saw nothing. You. Okay, well, that's sad. Um, hmm. Okay. Here layeth socks. You are a good horse, a faithful companion. Um, a bad jumper, but you were a real fast one. Best of the best. Socks, may you rest in peace. And you are Ochi. Come on, Ochi. Come on. I promise I'll be good. You won't get a stray arrow to the head or anything. Um, so over here, we added uh, three skylights, three little ones, and kind of a domed ceiling uh, roof thing over here. You'll see it on the outside. And over here, we've gone with two giant skylights um, that's going to really help the plants and the machine grow, I suppose. Um, and these skylights are another throwback to the old, the old flower barn um, where we had a lot of stained glass. So um, as we had stained glass flowers on the old barn, we have wood flowers here decorating our walls. And on the skylight, we have clouds against a light blue sky um, in the stained glass roof. So let's go upstairs and take a look. Yep, got a couple pieces of glow like in here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, our skylights and over here we have three little tiny skylights for the entryway and um, kind of a, a curved roof half dome design so let's go down here and take a peek yeah it's coming together I think we're almost done cool hey you're new around here are you a good pony you got a lot of hearts oh and you like me right away too Hmm, let's go get a saddle. Come here, pony. 
And put a saddle on you. Oh, you look sharp. Black beauty. What should we call you? Okay, we're going with Midna. Midna? Let's take a test drive, baby. Oh, you are slow as molasses. Goodness sakes. Can you jump? Not really. Woo! Okay. So let's recap this thing. This episode is going on far too long. Um, so we've built this brand new flower generator today. And with it comes the new build. I think it looks really cool from up in the air. And I think it looks really cool from the ground too. This whole area is going to be developed eventually, but look at that. Coming in from the pathway here, the build looks cool. And uh, I think it blends in nicely with the flower, or with the, uh, the, the moss generator here, uh, but it also stands alone really well too. You can see that I added some banners to the front and some hanging signs. Um, it really ties the build together. We're gonna be putting some stuff over here eventually and the path is gonna go through here. For now, it's done. It looks great. I like it. The flower farm works really great. Uh, generates a lot of stuff. Ooh, oak planks and a torch. And the upstairs is getting there. <laughs> I'm not going to finish it this episode. We're going to make these next episode. This is where the individual farms are going to go. So we're going to grow some glow lichen. We're going to grow some vines, um, lilacs, glow berries, and rose bushes up here. We'll figure out the redstone for that another time. Um, yeah, more stuff in this chest. But for now, we are calling it good. I'm real sad about socks. My goodness. The, uh, I was just trying to protect her. There was a creeper behind her, and I was nearby, and the creeper was gonna blow up. So I shot the creeper, except, uh, Socks jumped in the way, and, um, rest in peace, Socks. We have Midna now. We gotta figure out what to do with this one. Slowest horse on the server. But, of course, we're gonna have to save the horse and around for another episode, too. This is an interesting build. Uh, I definitely hit a creative block with it and struggled for quite a while, but um, I'm really happy coming back to it with a fresh set of eyes, and uh, I think we made something really awesome today. I feel great about it now. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Leave a like if you think the video deserves a rating, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.